We just got our hands on a brand new Caspa miner. Let's take a look. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at ASICmarketplace.com. With crypto mining hardware prices dropping, it's critical to find an online store you can trust with your ASIC purchases. The team at ASICmarketplace.com has you covered with some of the most competitive pricing on the market. No matter what brand you're looking for, ASIC Marketplace has it. To name just a few, Bitmain, Goldshell, What's Miner, IB Link, iPolo, Jazz Miner, and many more. There are no surprises with ASIC Marketplace. The price listed on their website includes shipping. Imagine that. Finally, ASIC Marketplace takes the buying experience to the next level by accepting cryptocurrency as payment directly on their store. Go check out ASIC Marketplace today via the link in this video's description down below, as well as save $110 at checkout with discount code the hobbyist miner. Special thanks to the team over at ASICmarketplace.com for sending us over this brand new Gold Shell KA Box Pro. Super excited to be diving into this. We just got the release of the KA Box. I know some of you are even waiting for those models to arrive. And now we have fresh on the market the brand new KA Box Pro. Let's take a look here. We can see there's our sticker. Gold Shell KA Box Pro. Now, right away, what do we see? This is different. We've not seen this from Gold Shell. We've seen one six pin, some of the older models. We've seen the two pins for our six pins with some of like the box twos and threes. And now, I think, I think, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first Gold Shell model requiring three total six pins. And well, it makes sense because this unit uses 600 watts, which is a lot for a home miner. We have our indicator lights, our IP light there, and of course, finally, our ethernet port, which is great. Now this model does come with wireless, so I am thrilled. As a home miner, I love using these throughout the house in different areas in the fall and winter, if I can get this on. Wow, fingers are working today. In the fall and winter, I love using these in different areas of my house, especially the KA Box series, because they're a lot quieter, which has been really, really nice. So here's our model. Nothing too special, no decals or stickers on the side. It does feel heavier. Like I think this heat sink is actually bigger. Let's actually take a look. Maybe I'm just crazy. So I have another miner right up here on the shelf. Let's see what this one is. This is a Mini Doge 3. Yep, take a look. So Mini Doge 3 on the left and our new KA Box Pro on the right. And you can see that heat sink is definitely smaller on the Mini Doge 3 versus this model here. And actually, this is actually bigger. Let's take a look here. So lining this up, you can see on the side here, look at that. Our KA Box Pro is larger overall, and it seemed like it. It felt like it was definitely heavier overall. So this is actually a bigger model than what we normally would get, even with something that we just picked up in the Mini Doge 3 more recently. All right, so 1.6 Tera hash on K Heavy hash, which is traditionally used for Caspa. Well, I got some plans for this, and I wanna share those with you in just a minute, but first, we need to get this powered on. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get our ethernet cable plugged in here, off to the side, which works out nicely. Even though it has wireless, we do need to get ethernet configured first before we can actually do the wireless, and then you can just be on wireless independently. So we are going to be monitoring the watts here. I'm curious to see if we do get more than 600 or under 600? What is your guess based off of having previous gold shell models? You think we're gonna be at 600 or you think we're gonna be like 650 closer to 700? Now we are going to be running these on an HP server power supply. This is a 1200 watt if you're on 240, but if you're on 120, it's at 900 watts. So that's a really nice thing. It's very versatile using this. That's why I love to use them. We do have a new style of breakout board on the channel. And so not sure if you guys have seen these yet. These are great. I've actually gotten these right off of Amazon and they work fantastic. Plenty of six pin ports on there. 
and a nice little on off switch right here on the front. It's black versus I think the previous ones we've shown on the channel have been green. So we're gonna plug that right in the front of our HP server power supply here. And I'll put links to all these directly down below. And we always love to use on the channel, the veteran miner cables. These are custom made cables in the United States, handmade. I love and trust these. So go over and check them out over at the veteran miner. He makes these by hand himself and tests all of them himself as well which kind of makes you feel a little bit better. I've heard plenty of horror stories from people when using those yellow and black cables with burning and melting, and I'm like, nope, we're not gonna have that, especially as a home miner. So let me get everything plugged in. All right, we have everything plugged in. I actually just noticed on the end of these cables, TVM for the hobbyist miner. That's actually pretty slick. So our power supply, idle, uses 9.9, 10, 10 10.1, we're gonna round it to 10 watts. So we're going to remove 10 watts from our total when we get to that point of our testing. But moment of truth, let's get it powered on. Here we go. And we are off to the races. Let's jump over to the computer, get this configured, and I wanna talk a little bit more why I love this unit as a home miner. All right, we're over on asicmarketplace.com and here we have the Gold Shell KA Box Pro, the brand new Caspa miner. And I love to see more home miners hitting the market. Ice Rate River is a very well-known home miner for Caspa miners and Gold Shell has stepped into that realm very recently with the original Gold Shell KA Box, which just came out not too long ago and now we have the KA Box Pro. The more home miners out there, the better. Now, this unit, taking a look here on asicmarketplace.com, you can see it's not only in stock, but there's also a June delivery option as well. It is at 1.6 terahash at 600 watts. And that 600 watts is really pushing the home miner title. And I know, overall, based off of what we've seen on my channel, 600 watts is a drop in the bucket. It's nothing when we're looking at some of these full-size ASIC miners. However, this is a home miner product, and that's the demographic. And 600 watts is kind of pushing it. You know, when we're looking at 60 watts or 100 watts or 200 watts, all right, maybe 400 watts that we saw out of the KA box, but 600 watts is really pushing it. The price point as well is quite high to me. And I'm not putting this on asicmarketplace.com. When we look over at Gold Shell, the pricing is very competitive in that realm. The pricing is pretty high for a home miner. Now, you're getting a decent amount of horsepower, 1.6 terahash, which is pretty dang good. 600 watts is pretty up there, not as efficient as what I would have expected, but for the watts and the amount of money that this is, I'm a little questionable on does this still fall into the home miner product line? So leave a comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the price and the amount of watts for 1.6 terahash. So we're logged into our gold shell dashboard here for the web GUI. Nothing too special, too crazy going on. I do see the firmware is on 2.2, so I, I'm gonna have to check out to see if gold shell has released a newer firmware version. Usually once they released a product, it's very quickly within the first few weeks that we see another firmware update come out. That's normal with most hardware out there. So jumping out over to Miner, we did go ahead and delete the current Miner configuration that these do come with because I want to put my own configuration in here. So I'm going to hit Add, and I'm going to be mining to two Miners. I love using two Miners for Caspa. It's worked out very, very well. We're going to use this for testing, but at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you guys where my mine goes and what pool I actually want to put this on long term. So let me get this set up real quick. So once you're over onto two miners, there's a how to start button in the upper right hand corner. And we're going to come down here and it gives us a variety of different pools that we can use based off of hardware. Because it doesn't have the KA box listed, of course, I'm going to do something a little bit closer, which is the KS0. There is a KS1 or a KS2 in here. You can kind of bounce between the KS0 or the KS1, you know, where this comes in. So we're just going to go with the KS0 for now. So we're going to select this pool here and we're gonna hit copy. We're gonna go back over to our gold shell, we're gonna paste that in. Now for the miner name here, 
I already have that over here on two miners, my address. So I'm just going to copy that. You would do the same thing, but you will use the entire address, including Caspa colon in the very beginning. At the very end, however, we're going to do a dot and then do KA box pro. And then I always like to use the IP address at the end of mine just to make it easily identifi identifiable, especially if I end up having more of these. I'm going to hit X at the very bottom. You don't need to have a password for any of these anymore. And we're going to hit apply. Now, while we wait for this to go ahead and start mining, some things that you may be interested in as a home miner is there's only one mode, hash rate mode. We have seen gold shells. You can actually hear the unit ramping up behind me. We have seen gold shells have a low power mode on some of their mini doge models. I think it's a mini doge two, maybe mini doge three. We do not have that with this model. However, that's something if gold shell is listening, I would love to see really ramping up there. Oh, and there we go. It's ramping down. Perfect. I was going to say that is that is much louder than I expected, but I would love to see that with this model. 1.6 Terra hash. I could sacrifice a little bit of Terra hash if we could see this down to 300 watts or even 400 watts. Uh, is what we'd have there. As you can see, of course, it only has one algorithm in here, K heavy hash, which is what Casper uses, what we're mining today. Let me get this up and running for a few minutes. We'll take a look at the performance of the pool side, as well as Watts at, at the wall. All right, guys, we have been up and mining for over 45 minutes now. We all know that Casper takes a little bit to get up and running, but let's take a look. So right now on our watt meter, we're about 600, let's put it to about 680 watts. Minus out our 10 watts at idle with this power supply, and we're at about 670 watts. That's a lot to be honest with you. 670 watts is a lot. You know, we talked about this as for a home miner, and 600 was really pushing it. And in reality, at the wall, we're about 670. Now, the, the HP server power supply is definitely putting out a lot of noise and a lot of heat. Now we're not even at the 50% mark when it comes down to if we were at 240 volt. Now it is a little bit more than that. We're about 60 to 70% because we are on 120 because the max is 900 watts. So it is louder, but I'm actually really surprised how loud the HP server power supply is right now and the amount of heat that it's putting out. You can put your hand on the back side and it is pumping out the heat. But even more surprising, my hand on the back side of the KA Box Pro, this is hot. Like I need to remove my hand from it because it is pumping out some major heat. We've been up and mining for almost one hour. We're just shy at right around 55 minutes. And on the miner itself, we're at 1.6 terahash, which is awesome. We actually haven't seen a ton of ebb and flows in our actual total hash rate on the miner, which has been great. Now, flipping over to pool side, a little bit more concerning here. Pool side, we're seeing about 1.43 tera hash, and we're almost at an hour. I would have expected this unit to hit 1.6. However, I might have to try some other pools out in future offline testing to see do we get higher hash rate? Because at the end of the day, we get paid based off of what the pool sees for the hash rate, not what the miner sees. Now, what's my game plan with this unit? I want to use this unit, the Gold Shell KA Box Pro from ASIC Marketplace, to DCA into a handful of altcoins out there. As much as I love Caspa, I have a lot of higher performing miners out there currently right now, and I'd love to use this unit to DCA and, and kind of mine a little bit and get paid out in a little bit of a variety of different coins. And what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about using it on Unminable. If you guys aren't familiar with Unminable, you could come over here and pick a coin that you're interested in. One that may be proof of stake or even one that is proof of work. And we could go through here and pick one out that we may be interested in. And so let's say... I don't know. Let's pick one. What are we going to go with? Let's talk about Neoxa. Let's say we want to stack Neoxa. Well, I can come in here, select Neoxa, and then you can scroll through and it will show you all the different algorithms that this supports. So here's K heavy hash. So I can mine Caspa, but instead of getting paid out in Caspa, I can get paid out in Neoxa. So I can run this for a week, two weeks, a month, and then I can flip to another coin and then to another coin and another coin. The nice thing is 
This model, the Gold Shell K Box Pro, you know, will do anywhere from five to eight dollars per day in profitability based off of uh, the market as well as performance of CASPA and how everything's doing. So thinking of that, five to eight dollars a day in Neoxa at, at will do really, really well for me, especially as a home miner. And that's where I really see this unit. Is this going to make me CASPA rich? No. But is this going to allow me to fill my bags in a variety of different altcoins that I've been hoping to stack my bags with? Yes. And that's why I really like this unit as a home miner. Do your own research, please. Go out, look at different avenues, look at your electric rate, research the product, research the different resellers. I want you guys to be careful when looking at this unit, especially for the price and for the watts. 600 watts doesn't seem like a lot, but based off your electric rate, could really be painful after a full 30 days and getting that power bill as a surprise. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. I appreciate you guys joining me today to take a look at the brand new Gold Shell KA Box Pro from ASICMarketplace.com. I'll see you guys next time. Mining Disrupt 2024 is right around the corner and I've partnered up with the Mining Disrupt team to help spread the word. If you're on the fence about going, I highly recommend it. Last year was my first year and I had an absolute blast. Crypto miners have a home here at Mining Disrupt and come be among fellow miners with the same passion as you do. Check out brand new mining hardware releases, listen to your favorite speakers, meet your favorite content creators, and much, much more. Mining Disrupt 2024 is on June 24th to June 26th. Nab your tickets today and I'll see everyone there.